Hi everyone, my name is Christy and welcome to my trying a new makeup product everyday series. Today I'm so excited to try out another product from the brand McQueen New York and this is a Korean makeup product which I've tried out some other products from the brand McQueen and I love them. I absolutely love Asian beauty products. So this is actually a product that I got a while ago, but I just kind of hadn't gotten around to trying it out yet. And today I am so excited to finally be trying it out. It's the Micro Fit Finish Powder, which the packaging on this is so cute. Of course, it gets me with the pink. I was looking this up online. I think I got this from either Stylevana or Yes Style, which are both great websites with huge assortments of Asian beauty products. So this is around $10, so not too expensive at all. And here's how the actual product looks, which is so cute. And it's supposed to blur the appearance of pores, set your makeup. So I'm definitely excited to see what this can do for the large pores that I get here focus more like the inside of my cheek. And I also, I love that it has the mirror and the puff. So cute. Ooh, and it kind of has like a pink tint to it, which is awesome for brightening. Love the packaging. But yes, yeah, so before I actually apply this, I want to put on my concealer. So I'm using the Tarte Shape Tape and I wanted to apply this fresh right before setting it because this concealer definitely creases on my under eye circles. So let's apply this first things first. Also going to do a little bit down the center. I am finally running low on my Tarte Shape Tape. It's a pretty big concealer, but I'm like, it's almost time for me to purchase another one and I might get the hydrating version next time instead. I don't know if I've ever tried out a setting powder with this light, light, light pink tint, but I'm very excited about it because as you can see, when I first apply my concealer, I do use a lighter shade to brighten the under eyes. And a lot of times setting powders will kind of take away that brightness. So I'm very hopeful that this one will leave the under eyes bright and highlighted. Okay, so I actually love using little puffs like this. So I am gonna try using the puff. And so I'm gonna go ahead and pick up some of the powder here. Like you can see, hopefully that shows the pink color. So I wonder if it'll look really pink on me. Let's see. I feel like the puff just doesn't hold much product, but let's see. Maybe it does give a little tiny hint of pink color, but I don't think it would be at all noticeable. Okay, so, so now that that under eye is set, compared to the eye where I have not set it yet, it does look a little bit more dry and textured, which is something I really don't like in my setting powders because my under eyes are already kind of dry and for a powder to dry it out even more, I just don't like the look of that. And I don't think that it darkened the under eye though, so that's good. And there's definitely no more creasing. We'll see, I'm gonna go ahead and apply it to the other eye. And let's see, you know, actually I'm gonna pick up my sponge here and try setting it this way. It doesn't leave like a powdery cakey texture. It's just definitely 
super mattifying. So if you've got very greasy skin, I think you would love this. And it definitely does set the under eye, but I don't know. Maybe this is going to be better for the face than my under eyes, since I already kind of have dryness and a little bit of texture to my under eyes. Anyways, I don't want to emphasize that. But I do like how this applies with the sponge. It works fine with the puff as well, but I'm just faster at applying with my dampened sponge. So I'm going to pick some up and let's set the chin, little smile lines here. Overall, I would say it's pretty invisible. Like it's not leaving pink cast on my skin. Okay, now for the nose and the cheeks. I'm gonna start by just applying it to one side and seeing if it really does smooth out the appearance of the large pores. Yeah, like on the skin, rather than my under eyes, it looks beautiful. It looks super, super airbrushed, smoothing. So I'm really glad that I will actually get really good use out of this on the rest of my face because absolutely it's smoothed out and blurred away the poor texture. Oh my gosh. I'm also going to just do a little bit into the center of my forehead where it's looking a little shiny. Wow. Okay. Now this is a beautiful powder for the face. See if you can kind of tell the difference where I've applied it here versus without it. Just a smoother texture, gorgeous matte finish. Whoa. This really is like a in-person filter. Let's go ahead and apply it to the other cheek. Oh my gosh. It's so incredibly smoothing. And I'm always talking about how I have large pores here on my cheeks and how I'm trying to find primers that really smooth out the pores. But you know what the trick may be is not the primer, what goes underneath, more the powder that goes on top because this gives me exactly that smooth airbrushed appearance to my skin that I've been looking for. <gasps> Whoa. That's amazing. That's, that's truly amazing. So it's like I have this smooth, amazing filter on my skin, but there's no powderiness visible. So it just, it, it, that's what it looks like. It looks like a filter and it looks amazing. I'm really not surprised because I feel like Asian makeup products just always wow me and are just so much better <laughs> than any other makeup products I seem to have tried before. Like this is seriously the most blurring, beautiful face pressed powder in my collection. I cannot wait to keep using this every day. Now I feel like I'm like getting spoiled by it because I'm like, oh my gosh, my face looks so good. But I'm like, oh, the chin, it could use a little bit more smoothness. So I'm just gonna go over that a little bit more. Wow. And for touch-ups too, now that the weather is finally warming up, also with the compact here, this is the perfect product to bring with me if I need to blot away any shininess throughout the day. Oh my gosh. Mm. Love it, love it. And it's so fast and easy to apply. Oh my gosh. I feel like I've been missing out on smooth, perfected, airbrushed skin by not trying this out sooner. So if you've tried this out, let me know your thoughts on it in the comments down below. And if you have any other favorite types of smoothing, blurring powders that you love, definitely let me know in the comments down below because I need to make sure to do this every single day because it just looks perfect, incredible. Also for wearing a mask, like it'll help set my liquid makeup products to not transfer probably as much onto the masks that I wear. So I'm definitely all about a setting powder like this. 
Well, thank you so much for watching my video today. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe to my channel so you can see the makeup that I try every day, and I will see you tomorrow in my next video.